Jeremy S. Cook here, and this time I come to you with a new idea. Spinners are all the rage right now, and quadcopters, aka drones, have been popular for quite some time. Why not combine the two into a device that I like to call the spinner drone? My design takes the internal components from a Hubson H107C quadcopter and mounts them to a new polycarbonate frame, along with a ceramic bearing. Here's the drone that I got for this project. Since I'd be destroying it, I needed to make sure it actually worked. After that brief test, it was time to check out the bearing. As it just so happens, I had designed a new frame for a little Hubson drone, but never tested it out. Taking this design as a starting point, I added a hole in the center that should just barely fit the bearing. Once that was done, I sent it to my CNC router and set up the cutting pattern. My router then obediently cut out the needed shape, and after deburring, I had an awesome little frame. To my pleasant surprise, the bearing fit into the central hole perfectly, and spun around like, well, like a spinner should. It was then time to disassemble my Hubson drone. After detaching the bottom with a screwdriver, I cut the motors out with a Dremel tool. I could have simply unsoldered the motors and popped them out, but I was going to dispose of the frame anyway, and that seemed a little easier. I then popped off the propellers, and inserted them into the new motor pods. Some were able to press fit in like the bearing, but others I had to use hot glue on to keep in place. It was then time for my favorite thing in the whole world, soldering. I popped off some of the motor wires in order to allow them to reach the control board, as it would be offset from the center to allow for the bearing. The board and battery reached zip tight at 90 degrees to their normal orientation, and spinning worked as planned. Once in place, it was time for more soldering, adding the extra wires as well as heat shrink to keep them from shorting out against each other. After applying hot glue to two of the motors, it was time to test everything out. And that was not exactly successful. I suspected that the problem was that the control board being mounted at 90 degrees meant it thought the whole quadcopter was on its side at takeoff. I remounted the battery as well as the control board using hot glue to keep it in a normal orientation. I then fashioned landing gear for it out of zip ties, which works quite well for something this light. There was still a bit of a problem. Uh. And yeah, that noise meant that I had a positive and negative lead reversed for one of the motors. After just a little more soldering, it was time to try it out once again. Success! A spinner that can fly like a quadcopter. Perfect landing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see what comes next. Oh, and one more thing.